The Rockford Ice Sox return home to BMO Harris Bank Center tonight to celebrate state line hockey history and open up their two game weekend set against the Tucson Roadrunners. Hello, everybody. Joseph Zakszewski once again with you for tonight's episode of Ice Sox Warm Up. Coming up on the program, we're going to go inside the locker room here from interim head coach Anders Sorensen, get his take on a wildly successful road trip for your Ice Sox, and we'll also hear from forward Josiah Slavin, who has had a great road trip as well. He enters tonight on a four game point streak. Well, for your Ice Sox, they celebrate state line hockey history tonight against the Roadrunners. It is Wagon Wheel Cardinals night. Thanks for our friends at Insurance King and the Ice Hogs wearing the Wagon Wheel Cardinals for the first time since the 1970s. Well, they're going to auction them off after the contest to benefit our friends at the Greg Lindmark Foundation. Well, as mentioned on the ice, the Hogs very successful after a thrilling road trip for them in which they went 3-1-0 after playing four games in five days, taking on the Tucson Roadrunners and Henderson Silver Knights. So let's take a look at the updated Central Division standings and see what's at stake for your Ice Hogs coming into tonight's showdown. The Ice Hogs are 31, 25, 4 and 1 and have points in 9 of their last 11 games and a great opportunity to get out of the middle of the pack and continue their climb up the Central Division here tonight. For the Tucson Roadrunners towards the bottom of the Pacific Division, though their playoff hopes still around but very dim, a record of 20, 33, 5 and 1. The Ice Hogs are back home after a successful four-game and five-day road trip out west in which they would take on Tucson last weekend and the Henderson Silver Knights during the week. They went 3-1-0 with victories, back-to-back -back wins against the Roadrunners, and would split their two games against Henderson. Their most recent action was on Tuesday out of the Dollar Loan Center in Henderson, Nevada against the Silver Knights in which the Ice Hogs would skate away with a 1-0 victory. For Josiah Slavin, who we're going to hear from a little bit later on, he would score the lone goal in that contest for your Ice Hogs and now enters tonight on a four-game point streak, three goals and three assists. And goaltender Arvid Soderblom would make 26 saves for his second shutout win of the season. In fact, it's his second one nothing shutout victory and it would also be his 16th win which now pulls him one win away from tying goaltender Colin Delia for the most by an Ice Hog rookie goaltender. If you remember, he was able to accomplish that a few seasons ago. As for the Tucson Roadrunners, they're looking to snap a four-game winless skid in which they are 0-3-1 coming off of back-to-back -back losses against the Ice Hogs last weekend at Tucson Arena and then taking on the Iowa Wild on Tuesday and Wednesday on home ice. And looking at those wild showdowns, it was Iowa that would just dominate both performances 6-1 to one and 5-1. to one. Forge Ben McCartney and Travis Barron would grab the only goals for the Roadrunners in those hockey games. And now they come up to the state line. It's their only trip here during this little trek. They're going to come for two games starting tonight against the Ice Hogs and then a rematch tomorrow and then head back home to the desert shortly thereafter. In the head-to-head -head series, tonight is the third of four meetings between the two clubs. We mentioned the Ice Hogs with wins out in Tucson last weekend, so they are 2-0-0 coming in, a 4-3 overtime victory, and a 6-3 victory as well. Tucson, this is their first trip to the state line since February 8th and 9th of 2019. The two clubs would split those two games. The Ice Hogs would win game number one, 3-2, but the Roadrunners would take the second one, 5-3. Let's take a look at our Lou Backroad Automall three keys to the contest for your Rockford Ice Hogs. And key number one is to get off to a great start, use that home energy early on, and establish themselves back here at BMO Harris Bank Center. If you go back to those two games against Tucson, they would yield the opening tally in each of those two games, able to fight back and grab victories, but certainly don't want to spot the road runners, especially on the road, trying to spoil the fun that is Wagon Wheel Cardinals night tonight with a quick start. And key number two is to stay out of the penalty box. Says for Tucson, they are one of the league leaders in average penalty minutes per game, but also a team that likes to get physical, likes to get a little bit rough. They have 44 major penalties, which is leaps and bounds ahead of the next closest team in terms of major penalties this season. So the Hogs leak, looking to keep their cool and manage their emotions tonight. And key number three is to take chances. Tucson, they feature the last and second to last team goals against average and team's goals for average. So that means they give up a lot of tallies and they do not score a lot of tallies. And I think looking back at those two Iowa games in which they would lose 6-1 to one and 5-1, to one, I think that stat kind of speaks for itself. So the the Ice Hogs in the offensive zone looking to finish their chances, take chances at that. They outshot the Roadrunners in both of their games last weekend, so hopefully looking to continue that trend here tonight. It's a special night at BMO Harris Bank Center this evening as the Ice Hogs celebrating Wagon Wheel Cardinals night. Thanks to our friends in Insurance King and hosting a post-game jersey auction to benefit the Greg Lindmark Foundation. And they're going to certainly focus on the task at hand against the Tucson Roadrunners with key Central Division points up for grabs to benefit the Ice Hogs. Well, coming up on Ice Hogs Warm-Up, we're going to dive deeper into this matchup, catch up with interim head coach Anders Sorensen, also hear from Ford Josiah Slavin, who's been fantastic for the Ice Hogs as of late. And, of course, we'll come back and get you ready for the opening puck drop. So stay tuned for more Ice Hogs Warm-Up.